Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be a little short video. When I make a copy, all I do is Control D. The default puts it a quarter of an inch up and a quarter inch over. I never have liked that. But let's say you like that and you're not going to change it. So what you could do, two things. You can edit, copy, edit, paste, and it'll put you another paste. It'll put you another copy there. Or hold down your control button at the same time, hit your C and B key, and it's going to put a copy right on top of the other one. So I like having mine just zero, zero. And then when I make a duplicate, it's sitting right there and I can do what I want with it. I don't understand the quarter inch, quarter off. Now, the other reason would be to cut and paste. Let's say you're working with different pages and you've drawn something and we're just going to use this for instance. Go up to edit, copy, go down to your page two, edit, paste. Now you have the same object exactly in the exact same space on two pages. I've, I've never really used that. I've never really worked with more than one page. Uh, the only way I could see it, you know, if you had a bunch of name tags or, you know, more than it would fit on your laser bed. But anyway, that's just a little insight on the copy and paste. And uh, if you ever do want to change this to zero, zero, and I like having my, this is your nudge factor. This is your offset on duplicate. All you have to do once you've changed is to go to tools and save as default. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.